Good morning. Happy Tuesday, December the 29th, 2020. Praise the Lord. I'm here to offer my weekly word of encouragement to the people of God uh, out there uh, across the land. God has been so good to us. Uh, God has been so merciful. God has been so kind to us in spite of everything that we've gone through. This past Sunday, I preached about seasons and the seasons that we go through, uh, just like naturally we go through spring, summer, uh, winter, and fall. We go through those seasons and we adjust uh, to those seasons. We adjust the things that we wear. Uh, we adjust our going out and our coming in. We adjust uh, our behavior uh, based on the season that we're in. And I think spiritually, we have to do the same thing. We have to make adjustments uh, in certain times and certain seasons that we're in. Uh, what I want to talk about today uh, is perseverance. I want to talk about perseverance and uh, being able to stick to something, to stay with something, not just be uh, an individual that does something for uh, a season and then give up. You do something for a short time, and when things get difficult, you give up. Uh, I've studied uh, about five good examples of perseverance uh, in the Bible, and the one that I want to share with you today uh, is about Job. Uh, if you read the book of Job, you see some of the things that Job had to endure, uh, just going through, you know, being a, a righteous man. You know, God even said it. That he was a righteous and he was a faithful man, but he had to go through some things. He, he had to suffer some things, not by anything that he had done, but just based on his status, based on who he was as a child of God. And as a child of God, we will find ourselves sometime in some difficult situations and circumstances, um, and we have to persevere. The definition of persevere is persistence, persistence in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. Just because it doesn't come quickly, just because it doesn't come easily, we don't give up. We don't surrender. And as children of God, children of the Most High, we definitely don't give up. We stay in the race. We finish our course. We stay in there. We, we don't we don't throw in the towel because it gets hard. Uh, we don't quit, you know, just because we come up against some difficult challenges. You know, when I was out in the world, uh, the saying was, uh, you know, when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. And I believe in the church, that's exactly what we have to do. We have to put our feet down into the ground, plant ourselves, and, 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 and just really gird ourselves up. That's why the Bible instructs us to put on the whole armor of God every day. Every day. We have to arm ourselves for the wiles of the devil. The devil is going to come. He's going to try to attack. He's going to do whatever he can to, to get you off track. So what Job could have done, what he could have done uh, when uh, he had done nothing but live righteously, uh, live a godly life before his children, his family, uh, his friends, uh, and before God, that when he was in, uh, afflicted, first of all, uh, with, with, with the, the heartache and the pain of losing his children, there was a process that went forth. Uh, and, and, and the devil does that same process with, with us. If he can't get you through your finances, he'll come to your children. If he can't get you through your children, he'll work on your spouse, work on your job situation, uh, work on your church life, your church environment. But he's going to keep plugging at you until he's found that right spot that, that, that really just gets on your last nerve and make you want to quit, make you want to quit. So he's doing what he can to make you want to quit. But I want to encourage you today, don't quit. Don't give up. Stay in the fight. Continue to go forward. Don't allow the devil to have any victory. Don't allow him to have any foothold in your life. 
And I know sometimes, you know, especially in this season that we're that we've lived through uh, this year, 2020, uh, as a, a child of God, as a Christian, you know, sometimes we're faced with situations and circumstances uh, through people that we know, through people that we love, through people that we respect, and a hurt can come, a hurt. And yes, because you're saved and you're sanctified and you're filled with the Holy Ghost, it doesn't mean that you are not human. It doesn't mean that you don't feel pain, that you don't suffer through some things just like everybody else does. And sometimes, you know, you can get to that point where you ask that question, why do I always have to take the high road? Why do I always have to do what's right? I want to just act up like somebody else. You know, I want to do what they're doing. I want to retaliate. I want to revile back. But the Bible tells us that when we are reviled against, we don't revile back. We don't. And I tell you, it takes a bigger person to turn the other cheek. It takes a bigger person uh, to, to, to take that hurt, to take that pain, and then turn around and pray for that person that hurt you. I want to read a few scriptures here. Uh, Galatians 6 and 9, familiar scripture to, to many of us. Galatians 6 and 9 says, And let us not be weary in well-doing. You're doing well. You're doing well. You're doing well. Continue to persevere. Continue to stay persistent in the things that you do for God. Don't be weary in well-doing. For in due season, we shall reap if we faint not. Just hang in there. Hang in there. Continue to fight the good fight of faith. Continue to stay strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Second Thessalonians uh, 3 and 13 basically says the same thing uh, as the scripture I just read. But ye brethren, be not weary in doing well. Why, why is God reiterating that to us uh, throughout the various chapters of, of the New Testament? Don't be weary. Don't get tired of doing what's right. Don't get tired of doing uh, uh, the, the godly things, the godly principles. Lead by example in your home. Lead by example on your job. Lead by example in your church. Don't grow weary. Don't get tired of doing the righteous things of God. Continue to fight the good fight of faith. The last scripture I want to share with you, James 1 and 12. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life which the Lord hath, has promised to them that love him. God has promised us something. So we have something that we are fighting for. We have something that we're fighting for. We're fighting uh, for the crown. We're, we're, we're striving for the crown, uh, the glory. We want to be a part of that great cloud of witnesses uh, that's, that we're going to join in with. Loved ones that we ha have, have, have lived with and lost. Uh, we're going to, we're going to, be a part of that membership now. We're going to join in in that fraternity, but you have to persist and you have to persevere. This has been a trying year, but just think about the trials that Job endured. Lost 10 children, lost a fortune, lost livestock, his wife, you know, uh, coming to him and telling him to curse God and die. His friends coming and sitting by his bedside, accusing him of doing something wrong. Apparently, you did something wrong because you're suffering through this. You know, and that's what people will say even now, you know, in this season that we're in. Obviously, you did something wrong because you got coronavirus or you got this or you got that. No, that's not the case. That is not the case. Come on, let's let's be wise. Let's be wise. Let's be wise. Proverbs 1 and 7 says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. Let's be wise. Job lost all of those things, but he persevered. He held on to his relationship with God, and he stated himself, Though you slay me, Yet will I trust you. Can you have that kind of testimony today, saints? Though you slay me, although I'm going through, although I'm being persecuted, I'm going to keep my relationship with God. I'm going to persevere. 
I'm going to persist in doing uh, what's right, despite the difficulties, despite the delays. I've been praying for this for a long time. Despite all of these things, hallelujah, I know God is going to work it out for me. Persevere. I'm instructing you to persevere. This is my last word of encouragement for the, uh, for, for the year 2020. Uh, next Tuesday, we'll be in the new year. We'll be in 2021. The Lord bless us, uh, delays his coming. And as the old saint, saint said, and the creek don't rise. We will give you a word of encouragement for 2021. I believe that it's going to be a, a good year. I know we're still suffering through the pandemic. We're still suffering through, uh, uh, you know, people losing loved ones and uh, people uh, contracting the virus. I believe that God is going to bless his people through it all. We're going to persevere. We're going to come out of this thing. We're going to come out. It's not always going to be like this. It's not always going to be like this. We have to know that God is with us and God is for us. God bless you all. Love you all. Hope you have a joyous New Year. Great celebration on New Year's Eve, wherever you may be. Be safe. Stay prayerful. And be courageous. God loves you. I love you too. And there's nothing you can do about it. See you next, next Tuesday in the new year. Be blessed.